to another edition of Jonos. Here we are in the middle of Lake Calhoun in beautiful Minneapolis, Minnesota. The perfect place to be on a nice, warm January day. So what I wanna to talk to you about today is I wanna to talk to you about citrus fruit, these beautiful citrus fruits, because what a lot of people don't know, wait a minute, here's some right here. You find this stuff all over the place, it's amazing. Um, what a lot of people don't know is this time of year is the perfect time for citrus fruit. They are at the peak of freshness and sweetness. And in fact, let me tell you a little story about it. It's kind of funny. Well, maybe it's not funny. It depends on your attitude. But when I was an area support manager in hospitals, I went into a hospital one time and the cook was pouring fruit cocktail into the salad bar for the lunch. You know, the ones with the red cherries. And I said to the chef, I said, chef, why is your cook putting canned fruit on your salad bar. And he said to me, well, first of all, he did this eye roll thing. Hello, Chef Joe, it's winter time and fruit is not that great in the winter time. And I said to him, first of all, Chef, you don't eye roll Joe knows. Second of all, this is absolutely the peak of season for all of these beautiful citrus fruits. And a nice citrus salad would be a wonderful thing. And today, I'm gonna show all of you how to make a beautiful citrus salad of your own. Because you may not know how to combine these beautiful citrus fruits together and how to cut them up to make a beautiful citrus salad. But as always, Joe knows. We've got all these beautiful fruits here. Let me tell you a little bit about some of these. Some of these you're very familiar with. For example, you know, we got a lemon, we got a lime, we got a navel orange. And the navel orange, interestingly enough, they all come from a single tree in Brazil, and they came to the States in the 1800s. That tree was a mutant. It was a mutation of an orange tree. And what happened was it had fruit that had no seeds, and it had a little twin in the end where the navel is. So all the navel oranges that we have today come from that single tree from grafts because obviously there's no seeds, you've got no seeds to plant. So they come from grafts. So that's the navel orange. The pink grapefruit, Texas, Florida mostly, beautiful thing. They come from the Caribbean and the farmers there, they saw them up in the trees and all the fruit was kind of clustered together and they saw it look like uh, grapes on the branches. That's why it's called the grapefruit. We have a pomelo, which is like the larger of the grapefruit. It's big, big fruit and nice and sweet and juicy. And it comes from Asia. And this, one of my favorites of all, is the ugly fruit. And I think you'd probably have to agree that it is well-named. This one comes from Jamaica. But all of these fruits are at the peak of season right now. And we're going to make a beautiful salad out of these and enjoy it right here. I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to cut this up. First with the orange, cut the ends off. Then I'm gonna carefully cut around the outside to cut all the skin off of there. So we just end up with just the orange. Nice, sweet, juicy navel. Then I'm gonna cut it in quarters and I'm gonna cut the center out where it's a little bit fibrous and then cut the, what's left in half. And that makes a really nice, quick fruit salad. With the grapefruit, I'm gonna do it a little differently. I'm gonna cut the ends off, then I'm gonna cut the skin, and this I'm gonna do a little different way. I wanna cut this so it's kind of fancy, and this is how we're gonna cut our fruit today for our salad. So then, once the skin's all off, I cut in between the membranes there, so that section comes out with absolutely no fiber on the outside at all, just that segment. Inside one side, just inside the other membrane, and out comes that beautiful Supreme. And that's the way we're gonna cut all the fruit up today for our salad. It's gonna to be delicious. 
here's all that beautiful fruit we cut up. We have oranges, we have tangerine, I have some grapefruit, and I sprinkled on top some pomegranate, which is also in season this time of year, and it makes a beautiful salad, as you can see. So if you're sitting out in a frozen lake and you're wondering what you want to have for lunch, I would recommend this salad because it is a beautiful thing. Oh, baby, that's good. Before today, you didn't know how to make a beautiful citrus salad like that in the middle of a frozen lake in Minneapolis, in Minnesota. But never fear, because as always, Joe knows.